This, this is Gas Up the Pacer. Coast to coast sports on a quarter tank of gas. Gas Up the Pacer. Yeah, Gas Up the Pacer. We need quarter tank gas each way. It's only eight and a half hour ride, eight hour ride. Quarter tank of gas, get us there. When it comes to buying tickets for this show, you know what they say. You'll pay for the whole seat, but you'll only need the edge. Can I get the Pacer? Because you know the Pacer bulletproof. The Pacer built by the same people that made uh, the president's cars. This is Gas Up the Pacer. Coast to coast sports on a quarter tank of gas. Welcome, everybody, to Gas Up the Pacer. Uh, coast to coast sports on a quarter tank of gas. I'm Armando. That's Lou. Is that diesel or regular? I don't know. What's a Pacer take? Takes regular. You been putting diesel in it? Um, no. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Still gets there. Oh, yeah. It'll get there. Put rock a fuel in that thing. I had to put the Pacer in the, in the shop last week <laughs> after you used it. I'm thinking, they've been putting diesel in it. They run on whatever, but it ran better than regular. I put, the, I put that, that corn shit, the fucking ethanol. <laughs> <laughs> E85. <laughs> you put the E85 in. It was a better price on that, so I just I decided oh, to use that. <laughs> we can appreciate that here at the Gas Up the Pacer staff. We can appreciate you trying to save. Hey, you know, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to be a little bit more green. That's that's it. I like it. Oh, so this is our weekly awards. Uh for anybody out there that would like to follow us, you can follow us on iTunes or Stitcher. You can subscribe under Lou's Ass to the YouTube. Um, You can hit the bell and get the notifications when we put up new shows. Um, If you would like to follow us on Twitter, you can follow me at Junior D's. You can follow Lou at Lou underscore Willard. If you're watching, it's at the bottom of the screen. If you're listening, just try spelling it. It's fine. There you go. You'll be good. You'll find both of us. So this is the weekly awards. Um, Yeah. You want to start right off? May as well. Let's do it. Let's start off with the douche of the week. You are a douchebag. A total douchebag. The douche of the week. The douche of the week. Lou, who you got? All these reporters and new sportscasters saying that, well, is it really fair that these NBA players who get drafted Thursday don't get to go to the team of their choosing. What? They've done it with football. They do it all the time with basketball. I don't even know any other drafts that take place, but they do football and basketball. They, they do it with every sport. It's not fair that Zion has to go to New Orleans. He didn't choose it. He doesn't have to go. No. He can – he can opt not to play in the NBA this year. He can play in Europe if he wants and he for can a year. opt to go play in Europe next year if he wants to. Yeah. He does not have to play in in the NBA. Just because they draft him does not mean he has to go. Get the hell out of here with fair and what's fair and what ain't fair. It is a privilege to be in the in a, a professional sports athlete. You don't have to stay at the job you at. I don't have to do what I do. The fuck out of here with fair. Yeah. Like, I don't understand that. It blows my mind when I see it. I, these guys, they get to come out. Well, you get to choose your well, career path. He, No, you get to choose your job. Well, yeah, I chose my career path. He chose his career path. Doesn't matter if he gets dra- drafted to. Can I, can I ask a question? Not to interject. Absolutely. I'm, I'm going to totally interject, but they want to talk about fair. Yes. And and that's fair that you want to talk about being fair. But how the draft for every sport is set up is to be fair to the worst teams. If you're one of the worst teams, the reason you get a high draft pick is so that you can get a better player than everybody else so that your team can eventually get better and not be the worst team. That's how that works. Yeah. Um, so in, in the interest of being fair, that's exactly what the draft is just because, and it still doesn't work out all the time. Cause the Knicks should have had the first pick. <laughs> exactly. Now, because the NBA has the lottery. Yes. It you doesn't, took a team doesn't like doesn't the Pelicans who weren't that terrible. Yeah. Wound up with so, the first pick. So let me ask a question then. So why is going to the Pelicans so bad? 
I, and, I and have not no fair. answer. No answer. So if let let's say let's say the NBA did it like the NFL or Major League Baseball or whatever, where the worst team gets the top. Yeah, pick. Ottoman, there's no lottery. So let let's just say the Knicks had the first pick because they were the worst. Um, or whatever team was at the bottom. Would it would it then still be unfair, or is it just because it's the Pelicans? It was, ah, come on. You know it's because it's the Pelicans. I'm just saying. I'm just Everybody, throwing it out there. Everybody wanted him in the Knicks. You know why? The Knicks, If you look at the Knicks and the Pelicans, you take the Pelicans roster every single day, twice on Sunday. Yeah. And it, because it had, a, the Knicks, it the had are, AD on it at the time. Yeah, the Knicks are a dumpster fire. Yes. And they have been for but quite some time. But they're saying, oh, send him there. Why? Because it's the Big Apple. Yeah, it's branded. He's go. He's gonna make a lot of money off the court anyway. He's gonna make a lot of money no matter what team he goes to. And and to be perfectly honest, I know like first reaction for him was probably like, God damn. No, that's exactly what it was. You seen his face? But, yeah, but like somebody punched him in the gut. But after they put the contract in front of him, he'd be like, I can make this work yeah, for a little let me, bit. Let me see if I can let because see what I can do again, here. it's not like. You signed him like when you when you draft somebody, you sign them to a lifetime contract. This ain't the seventies in the NFL anymore, where you play with one team for. No, at the end of your contract, the the, the players have the ability to negotiate, and if they don't get the contract that they want, then they can leave. Or even if they do get offered that max deal, they can leave, as we'll talk about in our beast of the week. Exactly. But the thing is, how can these? I'm so sick of people running around here. Well, this isn't fair. That isn't fair. No, you know what's not fair? A ninth place trophy. That's what's not fair. Yeah. It's not fair to the people who actually won the whole damn thing. Why, Absolutely. Hell, why don't the Pelicans just have a fucking parade then? Because they won the lottery. They won the draft lottery. They should be having a parade just like Toronto is. Yeah. Toronto won the, the trophy. But, hey, they, they won the opportunity at what they think is the best player in the draft. Yeah. These play and it's not the players. My douche of the week, I wanna I wanna specify it. It is the people who are arguing what they consider to be on behalf of the player. Yeah. The players don't care. Their ego was such as mine was when I played, that wherever I go, we'll be good. Yeah. Cause I'm showing Cause, up. Because I'm there. Yeah. I'm showing up. But get out of here. I'm so sick of fair and not fair. Yep. Oh my uh, uh Same oh. here. And speaking of parades. I got a good one for you. I don't know if you saw this. So the uh, the 2019 Stanley Cup champion, St. Louis Blues, uh, they had their per- their victory parade this past Saturday. Yeah. Uh, celebrating the franchise's first ever title. I um, had no idea that's the and, first time they'd ever won it. Yep. And good for them. Very yeah. happy. I think it was only like the first time in like 50 years that they've even been there. I would have just thought because they were such, maybe it's because we always see them come in and play Blue Jackets. But I just yeah. assumed they had already won it a couple times. Yeah. Not no. not a dynasty like the Maple Leafs used to be or yeah. the Red Wings or the Penguins. But I honestly thought they had a couple cups. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I thought the same thing. I really did. Not. Uh, I, I thought they at least won one. I thought they had a couple. Um, But, yeah. So, because uh, who they had? Brett, Brett Hall and all them? Yeah. I thought they won. So, um, I mean, they were always in the playoffs when I was growing up from what I yeah. from what I remember. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so they they had their 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 first victory parade. So you knew everybody was going crazy. <laughs> it's the first you know first championship, the whole nine. Um, so there was a lot of alcohol consumption, allegedly, allegedly, yep. um, or I mean, or they just served you know bad shrimp. I don't know. Um, <laughs> so the if you go online, you could you could see the the video footage. <sighs> it's pretty much everywhere now. Um. The 24-year-old forward, uh, Zach Sanford, it was him, a girl, uh, and I don't know who the other guy is. I I believe it's one of the other players, but I don't know if if the girl was like his wife or the other dude's wife or whatever. But it's the three of them in a convertible. Ragtop is down. So they got the feet on the seats, and they're sitting on like the trunk, the edge of the trunk area. And they're waving and doing their thing. And apparently, uh, Zach may, may have been overserved. I'm not quite sure, <laughs> but he he puked all over himself oh. and pretty much everybody in the car. Like, if you watch the video, it's a little grainy, so I'm not gonna throw it well, up it's here. Grainy because he puked, but, but it's 
The videos, it looked like the Zapruder film. Like, it looked like we were watching Kennedy get shot, but it was this dude oh, throwing shit. up. <laughs> like, we ruined this song. <laughs> And you put this with something serious like that. How about it look like a scene out of Family Guy when Peter throws up on everybody? Uh, uh, it's not as funny. Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, did we not have the conversation that my sense of humor is a little bit sicker? Yeah, we than, did. than most. Yeah. So, and 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 <sighs> there's no there's nobody else in here. There's there's nobody working the camera. There's yeah. nobody. You know, it's just me and you. Yeah, We're just having yeah, a good time. Yeah. yeah. So, yes, it was grainy like the Zapruder film. <laughs> Somebody was pointing at the grassy knoll, and he just threw up on it. He literally, you, you heard of the magic bullet theory? This is like the magic puke. It touched everybody in that car. Ugh. He threw, like, it was almost like he leaned forward to the left, and you just see it come out. And you see the guy in the passenger seat in the front turn around, like, go, uh, like, what the fuck just hit me? Did you throw something at me? Ugh. He threw up on himself and pretty much everybody in the car. I, I, I think I think it touched everybody in the car. I would have punched him. <laughs> I would have knocked him straight out. I mean, that's one of the worst things I can imagine happening to me is somebody throwing up on me. Yeah. Yeah, that's you'll never good. you'll listen, never get rid of the listen, smell. Listen, that's why there's a hundred and fifty dollar charge if you throw up in an Uber driver's car. You rattled that number off pretty easy. <laughs> can we can we talk about that? For I've I've heard stories a few heard times. Stories, so, gotcha. Li- listen. I talked to Corey earlier today, um, and we were we actually talked about that story. I am the the Michael Jordan of throwing up, because he said I don't recall you ever throwing up when we went out, and we drank a lot when we were younger. And I said, Yeah, that's because I dip. Like I feel it, and even if it's coming like right now. Yeah. I got my ways. You slide right to, on out, get just, it done, and just come a, back. Like just a quick, you know. And bounce on sli- back into sli- the party. Slide back into the mic and start singing again. Yeah. But I slide right out, do my thing away from everybody, and then slide right back yeah. in. Puke the, and rally. I'm the same way when but, it comes uh, to that. You know what I've never done? Thrown up all over myself. Or anybody else. Or on anybody else. No. That shit's just gross. Yeah. That that'll get your ass kicked where I'm from. Yeah, we could be out together. Throw up on me, and I mean, I'm bet I will punch you. I'm and then I'm apologize, but the first instinct is I'm gonna punch you. Boy is 24 years old. It's not like he's one of these 18 year olds that don't know any better, you know. And I get it. You were probably drinking and partying the night before, drinking again that day. Yeah, and, but that's in it. But you're you're on. 24 years old. You can you be, should know I'm better. I'm 45, and but. You know, you know it's coming, and if that, you know it's coming, issue. if you know it's coming, I don't know. How about you put a, a trash can in between your feet, just in case? Just drop down in the seat, put your head down, do your business, and, yeah. and hop back up. Yeah, everybody might know what happened, but nobody's seen it. Yeah. And then you still got some dignity and some type of self respect. Exactly. And Lou hasn't punched you in the jaw for throwing <laughs> up on it. Because I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna hit you, I, and I don't, I don't fight like that anymore. I'm retired. Yeah. But I'm sorry, that will trigger a reaction, and I'm going to crack me a motherfucker. Don't do that. Yeah. You know better. I mean, we were drinking Jaeger at Putin Bay. I don't drink Jaeger. But one of our friends, one of my wise friends, was steady buying them. I drunk the first two, start passing the rest of them out. I'm like, and I already, you know what I've been drinking. Y'all know I've been drinking Grey Goose. Don't look at me like that. I've been drinking Grey Goose. I said, this ain't going to work out. We get back to the place. And he said, where are you going? I said, right out to the side of the house to get sick. Before it tells me I'm getting sick. Came back in, brushed my teeth. We kept drinking. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to be the one throwing up, walking down the sidewalk, looking ignorant. Yeah. We ain't about to do this. I mm-hmm. went, when I worked in radio years ago, I went, um, they had my going away party when I left radio. And, uh, Were you forced out or did you leave? I, I, I mean, listen, I could, could have gone either way. Because they had know. just because they had a party for you, they could have been <laughs> celebrating the fact that they finally forced you out. They could have, could have. <laughs> um, but it was like everybody's mission to get me sick that night. So I decided, and, and we went to we went to a bar uh, on South High Street that that you frequented, that I frequented, um, and I knew it was coming. So instead of excusing myself to the bathroom, I said, I'll be back. There was a convenience store across the street, and I said, 
I got to go buy some smokes. And I went behind the building, threw up, bought some smokes, and went back to the party. <laughs> hey, but listen. I will not throw up on people. That's no. just, that's, dude, that's just nasty. You, you know when you get ready to do it. That's it. That's I it. punched him. I ain't lying. Let's do uh I think yeah, the, the people know I ain't lying. I punched him. Oh, I know you would have. I would have cracked him. Let's do our criminal of the week. License and registration. I didn't do anything. Don't chase me, bro. Don't talk to me, all right? Talk it off. Our criminal of the week. Lou, who you got? As we start our criminal week, I just want to say how to punch that boy. I, I know just you to would. be clear. I got the, um, did you hear about the Kawhi Leonard impersonator at the Toronto's parade? No. Well, there's a guy in the crowd, looked just like Kawhi Leonard, with the cornrows and everything, signing autographs and taking pictures with people. <laughs> and first off, I just want to press, he, they had to know it wasn't Kawhi Leonard. But he, my criminal week is, you signing a man's autograph. You can't do that. It would have been funnier if they came and gave him like stuff to sign and he put his own name on it. Like yeah, that would be a, cool. That'd that, be funny. That is illegal, guy. <laughs> but he looked like Kawhi. His cornrows wasn't quite done right. You know, like he could use a little bit more cob on the corn type thing. <laughs> but you see what I'm saying? It was he was in the right direction. But he looked like him with the face and the beard. And he taking pictures with people. And this was, if the people honestly thought it was quite first off, they, they're dumb. And what really should have told them it wasn't him, he was wearing a Kawhi Leonard jersey. <laughs> Do you think that Kawhi is going to show up at the parade wearing a Kawhi Leonard jersey? Uh, no, they're not. Do you think he's going to show up at the parade, watching the parade, and not like like with you, with like the general public? Like just, just, I'm just waiting to see the parade. I'm, yeah, they told me that we were having one, but they didn't tell me where to meet them. <laughs> so I figured they gotta come down Main Street. Every I know it's Canada and Toronto, yeah. but they got a Main Street. Yeah. Everybody got Main. Everybody street. got a Main Street. Yeah, they got to come down Main Street. So I, oh yeah, I'll sign now. Take up pictures with you. Steady signing stuff and taking pictures with his own jersey on. With his own jersey on. <laughs> I seen that man. I was rolling. I said, that's like that's like honestly, that's like uh, what's his name Johnny Depp wearing the pirate gear everywhere. You just don't. Yeah. That's just for the movie. Just don't like do that. <laughs> hey, Toby McGuire, you're really not Spider Man. Take that shit off. <laughs> don't do it. Showing up to the premiere of Spider Man. What? What's your boy's name? Robert Downey Jr. Get that <laughs> Iron Man stuff off. Oh. Will Smith, you are not Aladdin, my friend. <laughs> this cat showed up impersonating the guy that's going to be at the parade. That's great. I said, oh, that's his brother. I said, that's his brother Bo. That's great. So I got two. One's going to be quick. One I'll get into a little bit more. Um, the little bit more is O.J. Simpson uh, has has made our, uh, our, our criminal hall of fame for obvious reasons. Um, and, and, not even just the double murder for other stuff. How the I, hell does that I happen? I laughed at double murder, but I wasn't laughing at the double murder. <laughs> yeah, I was I laughing. Yeah, you get I, it. I got what yeah, you were laughing yeah, at. Yeah, you get so, it. Uh, the ju- <laughs> the, the, for, you know, I've seen every damn Twitter. The juice is loose. Yes, the juice is loose. He is out of prison, and apparently he figured out what Twitter was. So, him got himself a Twitter account, the real OJ32. I thought all that was a hoax. And so did a lot of people. I did. So it's, you know, the the former Bills running back uh, announcing his entry and, and and alleged double murder suspect uh, uh, announcing his entrance into the, 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 the Twitter sphere, the Twitter sphere. Um, but, yeah, so he had this video where he basically came out. Got the quote here. Yeah. In, in the first video, he said uh, he ended it with 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 a really uh, I don't know weird statement. Should be a lot of fun. I've got a little getting even to do. So God bless and take care. 
Mm. His lawyer, uh, Malcolm Laverne, I believe, he says, Mr. Simpson, he went on to CNN talking about this. So this is where everybody was like, oh, okay, this is really OJ's account. Yeah. He said, Mr. Smith, uh, Mr. Simpson is the most positive person I've met. He's also very well informed on current events. He will not be negative, nor will he comment on the L.A. thing. On the L.A. thing? The, the Clippers? Yeah, first off, the or the, Brent Wood, or but, the, yeah. the stabby stab. Got a little, got a little stabby. Um, it will be one of the best accounts on Twitter to follow. I, I, I don't doubt that. I don't doubt that at all. Um, he then came out with a second video on said account. And he said, hey, Twitter world. You know, for years, people have, have been <laughs> able to say whatever they want to say about me with no accountability. But now I get to challenge a lot of that BS and sec set the record straight more importantly i'll be able to talk about everything especially sports fantasy football even politics but for now let me just say to my fellow fathers out there happy father's day uh, i saw the thing where he said or or and this is what I, oh this is what made me think was fake i saw he was announcing his um his um decision to get into this twitter sphere or whatever it's called um, and they said, I think I'm going to go ahead and take a stab at this Twitter thing. And I'm like, oh, well, somebody messing with the juice. Because that you know, has to be fake. Do you know when his decision to join Twitter fell on? The 25th anniversary of the double murder. That, let's face it, he committed. <laughs> For real. Yeah. For real. You, you can't do things like that. And, um, like, if you did... If, if, Listen, if you didn't kill those people, you're not jumping out of the bushes with with fruit in your hand and pretending to stab a reporter to scare them. You're not saying shit like, I'll take a stab at this. You're not writing a book about how I may have done the murders had I done the murders. What? What <laughs> the fuck is your problem? No, you'd, you'd be like, listen, I'm, I'm, not, I'm just going to get out of the public eye. I was found not guilty. I didn't commit those murders. I didn't murder those people. Yeah. But I'll, but I'll put a $10 million, you know, w- b- warrant, bounty, yeah, whatever out there. out for whoever. For, for whoever, you know, whatever. Find me some evidence that leads to a conviction, I'll yeah. pay you. Something like that. But, like, all the, like, the little, no pun intended, the little jabs that he takes, like the. Oh, well, we know it's no pun intended because those wasn't little jabs those people sustained. Yeah. I mean, they were damn near decapitated. No shit, at right? At the hands of O.J. Simpson. So, yeah, for that, like, O.J. just needs to go away. And he won't. No, that's the sad thing. He yeah, won't. he won't. My, uh, I, I just, I pulled this up this morning. I didn't even, like, print it out. Um, and I didn't get a chance to, you know, because I work hard every day. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, this one was from... Lakewood, Colorado, police handed out uh, issued cita- uh, issued four citations uh, for disorderly conduct and are still seeking suspects for potentially more serious charges after 15 to 20 grown-ups got into a big old brawl, according to this. This is from Deadspin. In the middle of a seven-year-old's baseball game this weekend. <laughs> oh, if you guys are interested... You can either go to Deadspin and look up the video, or you can go to YouTube. It's on there. Um, but I believe it's fight breaks out between parents during youth baseball game in Lakewood. I know you have to be really specific on YouTube because if you just if you don't put Lakewood in there, you're going to get 150,000 videos of parents fighting at baseball games. Yeah, which is sad. The video, and normally it's like a couple of punches are thrown or somebody pushes and that's it. This is like... This is worse than shit I've seen in WWE. <laughs> On the field, in the fence, okay? Inside the fence. There was a 13-year-old up in this game. A 13-year-old. And they were arguing balls and strikes with this dude. And it came to, it came to fisticuffs. Um, like, this is why, and, and it's, it's, it's happening in soccer. It's happening in baseball. I'm sure it's happening in other sports, too. But you can't get people to officiate youth athletics anymore because of this shit or coach them. There was, there was a bunch of like minor injuries in, in this fight. 
but they're the police are actively searching for and if you live in lakewood and you know a guy who owns teal shorts because i don't um they're looking for a guy in the video who is wearing the teal shorts who was just sucker punching everybody like he just thought that shit was a good idea one dude got got seriously injured and then there was a bunch of minor injuries all over the place but this dude was 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 running around. If you had your back to him, he was either punching you in the head or just, just boom, just, just just coming over and knocking you on your ass. And he did it to like three or four people just in the video. And uh, the, and the lady, I, I'm assuming it was a lady that was filming. Either she was filming or she was walking next to the person who was filming. But she was calling for Jesus, and Jesus wasn't coming. Jesus let this shit happen. <laughs> he never came. He never came down. Yeah, I bet the he next did. time, man. I bet the next time he asked him to turn that water into wine, they do it. Nah, remember I asked you to turn that water into wine? Just, Don't ask me to come down here and break this up. I, I heard, oh, Lord Jesus, like 37 times during that whole recording. It's only like a three or four minute video. But yeah, she was uh, she was calling out for Jesus and. Yeah, Jesus never showed, never showed. So that's uh, those are my two criminals. So let's move over. Let's do our beast of the week, and then we'll do our thank yous and get on out of here. Unleash the beast. He's a beast. Unleash the beast. He's a beast. Make the beast. Unleash the beast. The beast of the week, Lou. Who you got? I'm gonna go ahead and go with the Lakers. Um. They said they was getting Anthony Davis. Lakers are back. And they just slow down now. They just said they said they was getting Anthony Davis. They went out and got him. But it's a kudos to, like, the Lakers and the Pelicans are my beast of the week. Lakers got what they wanted. Pelicans got a ton to in compensation for losing a, a player like that. Yeah. But even I can even include Anthony Davis in this because he did not do the Pelicans wrong. He said, listen – I've given y'all seven years. I don't want to be here. I am going to leave. I'm taking me and my eyebrows, and we're getting the and hell out of here. And which he has a, a patent. Ain't that what you got to say? No, trademark. You got to yeah. say trademark. Trademark before we get sued. Well, you can't say you can't, eyebrows? Oh, I thought you said unibrow. Oh. Trademark. You, can, you can't say unibrow? <laughs> no, That's we got a thing. trademark. That's a thing. Trademark. That you can't trademark a word? Yeah, tra- That's trademark. That's like trademarking pizza. Trademark. <laughs> No, but he did them a solid. They offered him like $250 million. And he said, no, I won't take it. I'll Ooh. take less somewhere else because I don't want to be here any longer. I am leaving. I want to go to Los Angeles Lakers. So just trade me to the Lakers unless they all just part ways friendly. Initially, they tried to play hardball and say they wasn't going to do it. It got done for everybody. Now, I'm not an Ingram fan. I'm damn sure not a Lonzo Ball fan because him and Punk had daddy. But if they're they're working on get they got the number one pick already, which will be Zion. They got the four pick. They're trying to trade up to get the number two pick to take uh, R.J. Barrett, who I think will be the best player to come out of this draft. I could be wrong. I've been wrong once or twice or yeah. a thousand times on the show. But at the mm-hmm. end of the day, they got that, and they got three players that they can put into their starting lineup on the way back, and they still have uh, the point guard. Um, what's his name? Um, oh, the, oh, I forget his name. But anyway. I'm still they, on pizza trademark. Oh, yeah. No, like, <laughs> unibrow. Trademark. You just got to trademark stuff. But at the end of the day, they said they're going to make it happen. They made it happen. I'm all for player mobility. Mobility. If you can't adapt to people wanting to play with each other by now, just quit watching the NBA because that's what it is. I just got one question for, like, you know, LeBron and all them, Davis. How come don't know y'all like Detroit? They, 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 they don't own. like they don't like Detroit. They don't like New York. But they're opening up a new car place in Detroit. Like it's going to be like two billion dollar place. I mean, a new, a new car place. Yeah, they it, like manufacture the little cars. I forget what they call like the smart cars. No, not the smart those, cars. Those it's ones Detroit. You, you, it's not, not going to be nothing smart. The, the, the ones that you rent like downtown. No, and not not those either. <laughs> the, the little uh, Fiat's. It's a Fiat place. <laughs> I mean, but it's a start. So how come they just can't come to Detroit and play? I don't know. So fuck. Have you, you've been to Detroit. Yeah. Would you want to go to Detroit and play? That's not what I asked. <laughs> Listen, I'm I'm a little too short for the NBA. 
my sh- my jump shot is like um, yeah, me too. non-existent. I can't guard anybody. So I got a few problems that's keeping me out of the NBA. I'm dropping dimes. I mean, I I, I got a, I got a, I got a good jumper. You couldn't get your shot off if you played against one of but, them. But uh, but at five eight, uh, I, I'm not I'm not doing much. I, I don't I'm not Spud Webb. I, I'm taller than Mo- mm-hmm. Muggsy Bowles and couldn't beat him one on one today. I'm just telling you. Muggsy Bogues, 137. And I still couldn't beat him. You seen these knees? Left hip ain't no good. Or my right hip. One or two of them don't work. But at the end of the day, you know, the Pelicans, Lakers, Anthony Davis. Glad y'all got this shit done. And everybody parted ways, friends. And everybody feel like they won. Who wins? Find out in five years. Stay tuned. All right. Well, my beast of the week is, and and it's going to be my beast of the week every week until somebody proves that they could beat the U.S. women's national team. Exactly. So, so I got I got a couple. So the U.S. Women National Team as a whole, again, is my beast of the week. They sat, I don't even know how many, but they sat a lot of their starters for the game against Chile. Yeah. And I don't know if it was to give them rest, to prove a point, because the tournament just started. Yeah. So I'm assuming it wasn't to, to, to give them rest. They've had enough. So they sat a lot of their starters and still won 3 nothing against Chile. And they scored three in the first half. And they scored three in the first yeah. half. And not only did they score, Zach Ertz's wife scored one. Yeah. Um, and Carly Lloyd, who actually sat in the first game, scored the other two. But Carly Lloyd is my secondary beast of the week, as are the rest of the women on the team, because after she scored her goal, she ran to the sideline to the subs and all the teammates on the sideline. Yeah. And... She gave a little golf clap. She just she so stood. she don't celebrate too much. Yeah, she she gave a little golf clap, and everybody else they just shook hands. They shook hands, <laughs> and, and that's how they celebrated. Oh man, um, that's awesome. So that was fantastic. Oh, and well and deserved. And that's just that's just they should have done that's that. That's just a big fuck you. Yes, it to was. everybody. Um, and and the other thing too, because I've been reading a lot of. Uh, there's a lot of venom for this team, man. It, you know it, why? In the, inside the United States. You know why? And no, I know what you were talking about, and I'm going to tell you why. Why was there a lot of venom for the Patriots? Why is there a lot of venom yeah. for the Golden State Warriors? Well, you know why? Because they win. I thought the funny thing was, so at first, like Megan Rapino, once, once people found out she kneeled for the national anthem and, you know, people lost their shit about that, and I believe – Either in the first game or the second game or both, she stood for the national. And somebody, again, I was on Facebook. Yeah, I'm sorry, I shouldn't be reading the comments, but, but whatever. We know that's what you do. But that's what I do. And somebody wrote, you know, as a matter of fact, she actually stood for the national anthem. So if that's your issue, you shouldn't have any more issues. And then they started, they started taking aim at her because she didn't sing while she stood. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> got to be out of your goddamn mind now i didn't see the national anthem i don't know if she stood or she kneeled and nor do i care we've discussed this a million times this is what i will say though and then y'all let you get right back at it if you play for the 49ers kneel the minute i put the flag on my chest and i play for the united states stand that's that's just me and we can sit here and disagree about it yeah and that's fine but that's just my perspective If if i was so dead against it what was going on, and I'm just playing for the Pittsburgh Steelers, and I want to kneel or not come out, that's my choice. But the minute I agree to play for Team USA, I feel like I should stand. I feel the same way, too. But if somebody else wants to take a knee, at the end of the day, can you play? Then, yeah, then, 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 that's then we what good. I'm saying. That's just, my, that's just yeah. my perspective no, my of personal, what I would do. My, my personal Am I going to hate is? the lady and start writing at her? No. 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 But like there, there was so much venom just because of that, and and then God forbid you celebrate a goal, and then there was venom about that. There's just been so much hate aimed at this team. They, they are one of the closer teams, and and a lot of this stuff that's been outside of of that locker room has brought that locker room even closer yes, together. Yes, because they're bread. Let's just be honest with you. I'm not sure how most soccer teams look, but there is a team full of pretty women. A lot of them are pretty. Some of them yeah. are like the Alex Morgan chick. They is models or whatever. Yeah, and they're cocky, 
and they back that shit up, and they talk a lot of shit, and they back that shit up. Yeah. And let's be honest, they don't really like that too much here in America as much as they say they do. Yeah. We don't, we're not ready for all that out of women. Which no, is not, not, not as a country. Not, not out of women. You and I don't care. Yeah. Obviously, look at our wives. I love, we don't care. <laughs> I love athletes. Hell, I love anybody that can talk shit and back it and up. And back it up. What's wrong with a strong woman? Nothing, unless I, you're a weak man. Thank you. <laughs> That's the problem <laughs> with the hate for this team. That's why I don't, and honestly, I think, and this, this goes beyond sports and everything. I think because I, I'm uh, I'm a strong person, yeah. A lot of this stuff, like I'm comfortable with who I am, and I'm okay with who you are and who that person over there is, and like that's why not a lot of this stuff gets to me and bothers me. Yeah, and that's why when you score a goal in the World Cup after you've been getting slammed for a week, and you give a golf clap and shake hands. Like you're at a fucking press conference. It's awesome. That's fantastic <laughs> to me. Yeah. Fantastic. Any anything, like if you've been catching hate for, especially for something stupid, when you which been, that was when you've been catching hate and you could do something like this, like they weren't flicking off the camera, they weren't doing anything like bad like that. But when you could no, do something, they went into that's, a lady like role. Yes. Yes. When you could do something like that, that flips the whole thing on its ear, and by being classy, oh yeah, you're basically sending a big fuck you to people. That is one of my favorite things of all time. I love it. Oh yeah, and I'm too, I'm too boisterous. I'm too loud, to, for me to you, do it. You would have just got louder. Exactly. Your, your celebration would have went further. Yes. It would have. Scaling it back would have yeah. never crossed no. your mind. No. You'd have been out there doing round offs and backhand springs no. and fucking dropping your shorts and grabbing your boys. <laughs> fucking, I mean, you'd have, went, you'd, have, you'd have cut a fool. I know what you'd have done. I would have waited till we, we were up 9 nothing, and then I would have jumped in the stands and started drinking beers with people. That would have been my celebration. Yeah, yeah you'd have cut a fool. That's, that's you'd what have I'm probably saying. got arrested. The hell with getting kicked out the game. Yeah. You'd have probably went to jail. That's fair. <laughs> because that's fair. Oh, no. That's, that's we fair. know you here at the <laughs> here at the Pacer Nation. We know you. Sorry, that's yeah, a, that's yeah, who I am. Cut, you'd have cut a show enough food. And and you know what? That's why I respect stuff like this. Oh yeah, because I'm like, oh yeah, you could you could go that route. Yeah, to, you, yeah. oh yeah, you could have go that route oh, too, huh? You don't you don't have to pull down your pants after a yeah. goal. Oh, you could do that. That's cool. I find that freaking hilarious. I oh, love it. That's awesome. I absolutely love that's it. That's the best so, celebration they could have had. And, and again. We we sat starters. We sat starters. Still won three nothing, and until somebody beats this team, they are my beast of the week. Yeah, and not to you know not to be overlooked because I've I've given the the U.S. men's national team shit. They won four nothing uh, Tuesday night. Good. And, Good for them. And and four four nothing, not to Gu- Guyana. Who, what team is that? No clue. Didn't even know they had a team. Didn't know it was a country. Oh, I thought you were trying to say Ghana. No, no. Guyana. Oh. G-U-Y-A-N-A, I believe. Oh. Didn't know who they were, where they're from, whatever. They must be famous for the acai berry. <laughs> Every country that you can't pronounce is famous for the acai berry. Yeah. Must be them. But, yeah, so uh, apparently uh, not, not a very good soccer team because we trounced the hell out of them yeah. for nothing. But. I don't want to take away from it. U.S. Uh, women's national team. I can't wait. I don't have the schedule in front of me, but I'm watching. They watch- play I'm- Sunday against Sweden. Yeah, I'm. Yes, I think they do. Yeah. I am watching every game of this World Cup. Every game the women play or the U.S. Yeah. plays. Mm-hmm. I'm watching every game. So, for that, they're my beast of the week. Do you have anybody you want to thank this week, Lou? Not a thank you, but a happy fucking birthday to you, pal. Uh, let's move past that. Let's move past that. You're 26. <laughs> it's like my Getting 20th, old. 26 birthday. Getting old. <laughs> Getting up there. Yeah. Uh, look at you. Facial hair and everything. I know. Boy. I got hair in my pits. Go, you better stop it. That's what I'm you saying. You better stop it. You can tell I'm getting old. I tell you what. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to walk you to the bus stop next year. 
So happy flipping birthday to you, my friend. Thank you. Yes, sir. Happy birthday, brother. Thank you, sir. Um, had a few drinks for, Good. for my birthday. The wife took me out. We got some Thai food. Uh, yeah, it was a good time. There you go. It's a good time. This is this is my month for anybody that that wonders, because I got my birthday, Father's Day, and my anniversary all in June. So so the rest of the year you fuck. So like yeah. I just ask for a car every June. <laughs> <laughs> like I just need one big gift. You don't got to give me three little ones. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> don't worry about that. Just give me a Ferrari. I don't need a big gift. Exactly. Yeah. So, but yeah, it was. Uh, it's been a, a good week thus far. It should be a good week. Uh, to to round out the week. There you go. So, um, I'd like to thank you for wishing me a happy birthday. For anybody else out there that watches that has wished me a happy birthday, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, but as you know, as you get older, birthdays just aren't that they important to me. They just don't mean a lot. No. And you know, my wife asks me every year, "What do you What do you want to do?" And this is this is my thank yous because I want to th- throw a thank you out to all my friends and family and all that stuff. I don't ask for gifts anymore. I'm like, now this year's a little bit different because of the dumb dog, the little dog we got <laughs> because it chewed up the shit out of some of my hats. Yeah. Um, so I, I asked for some new hats, which, you know, not expensive, just something little. Um, all I asked for is to do like, a, not even a cook. Like I told her, I don't even want to do a cookout this year. I said, just invite some people over. We'll have some drinks on the deck. You know, we'll get in a pool. We'll, well, have a good time. I my gift is just hanging out with friends now. Oh, absolutely. That's all I want to do. Absolutely. So, yeah, I'm 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 over the whole like I need more shit. Yeah. I got enough shit. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, we do. We got enough. Stuff. I'm trying to. I'm actively trying to get rid of shit. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. For that, I just want to thank everybody, and uh, we we may or may not be getting together this weekend. So there yeah. you go. There you go. So I'm throwing that out there. So if you listen and I didn't invite you, my bad. Yeah, you'll be um, all right. But that's all I got. You got anything else? No, that's it. All right. Well, for Lou, I'm Armando. Thanks for coming in. And we'll see you all again next week.